What's up, y'all, and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today's wig is provided by Elva Hair, and this video is pretty lengthy, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. Now, down below, you will catch me doing the unboxing of the wig. This is a H, uh, 18 inch a 613 blonde well 613 is blonde what the hell this is a 18 inch 613 blonde wig and i down below i have the little goodies of what the uh you know the wig comes with as far as like a rat tail comb instructional card um you have some elastic band and of course you have the wig itself now this wig is very full that was one of my favorite qualities about this wig and um you know the hair did come slightly pre-plucked but you will have to go in definitely and do some plucking but i'm going to show you guys on the other hand how i achieved this beautiful um ombre color that you see in the beginning of this video now i only use two colors um for this wig and the first color that i put into that water and i dipped the wig in and you want to make sure the guy you know the water is a little warm to hot when you're doing this method but I am using the color Powder Blue. And this dye is from Adore. Um, it's fairly new. It's called Powder Blue. And that's the first color that I dipped this wig in. And I let that wig sit in that water um, for 10 minutes. And then I had went ahead and took it out, squeezed it, and made me, uh, made me some fresh water. And the second color that I will be using for today is Titanium. Um, titani titanium is, um, you know, the gray color but it does have like some purplish in it um it kind of reminds me of the periwinkle color the periwinkle has like that purple it also has like that purple gray um highlight type of look so this color is pretty much like that periwinkle but it has less purple than the actual periwinkle uh periwinkle color so um the titanium is supposed to give off a really nice gray but as i mentioned it does have some purple you know you know purple little you know tease in it or whatever but um i'm just going to continue to dip that wig in that watercolor um a few times and i'm going to let that wig sit in there also um for 10 minutes now when i first poured the titanium in there i only used half a bottle and then i dipped it you know just to see the gray it was going to be and i decided to add the rest of that bottle because i wanted that gray to be you know a little more vibrant it wasn't you know bright enough for me so i'm just going to dip it again um in some more of that titanium and i'm just going to keep moving it in and out making sure that hair gets on i mean that color gets on all of that hair and i'm going to let that wig sit completely in that titanium for 10 minutes before um you know showing you guys the final look before shampooing and conditioning so you want to make sure you also take a comb and just comb through um that color well just to make sure you know it's tangle free and the water color is getting everywhere on that wig but as i mentioned once it sits i'm going to show you guys what the wig look like um when i take it out of the water and then i will go ahead and begin to um getting to the installation process so i hope you guys like that color and now let's get into this slay so first things first my dreadhead baby is in the building um and today i'll be using my beautiful hustler wig cap i'm going to take my growth oil and just go ahead and you know moisturize her scalp really good in between her locks and then i'm not going to go into detail with the whole ball cap method but i know you guys want one so i will do a video on that separately but I'm just going to go ahead and take the cap and, you know, put it on and just use one layer of my Beautiful Hustler Lace Mid Adhesive and um, spread it across the front of the cap and just add a little Tresemme, blow dry it, cut off the extra cap, and then we're going to get into the install.
and this is what the wig looks like after i went ahead and blow dry it and did some plucking to the wig i love how this color came out it's super pretty as i mentioned um that gray does have a little purplish tint to it so it made it like give like a little light purplish roots and then it went into that gray and then it went into that powder blue but right now i'm going to go ahead and go in with my um kiss foundation and this is in the color honey beige um you will probably say um well you can go in between honey beige and caramel if they just are slightly darker you can use the caramel but i decided to go in with the honey beige color and this is a transparent lace and to be honest transparent lace and hd lace works great on everybody's skin tone but when it really comes to that transparent lace you have to use you know techniques to really get that lace to melt um you have to uh, make sure you're applying enough foundation and everything like that and for me i like to go on top and underneath with the foundation and then i also do like a second round of foundation before i do this um you know i tie the melt bell down the second time so i will um you know show you guys that in the video but after i already cleaned her hairline with alcohol but now i'm going in with my skin protectant and i just sprayed it on her skin and on the cap and i'm just you know taking a cotton pad and just um dampen off that extra little cotton that i got on there by you know accident but just making sure that skin protecting is nice and spread it on there and now we're going with my lace melt and i'm going to do five layers today for her wig slay so once i get all the layers you know in you already know what's next the whole melting process and we'll get into that shortly So now it's time to go ahead and melt that lace on in. So I like to always start from the middle first and then I work my, I work my way from side to side. And when I finally get the wig in place where I want it to sit, I just go on with my finger and just push that lace in on the edges. And then I have them hold each side, you know, as I do that. And of course I will comb that lace in, uh, blow dry it on a heat setting, do my glam wax and hot comb um, melting step, and then I will tie it down with the elastic band. And this is what um, it's looking like after I remove the melt bell. And I'm going to go in and cut off that extra lace around the ears. And then once I get all of that extra lace off on the sides, I will go in with my razor comb and razor off that lace.
And now that all that extra lace is off, I'm just gonna go ahead and tack down on the rest of the lace that is still lifting with some more glue and as you can see right now you do see um like a little bit of a white cast around her hairline but that's why i say it's all about technique when you um doing transparent lace so once i have all of this wig tacked down and i just go ahead and get her hair uh parted down the middle and everything i will go in with some more foundation but i'm not going to use um I'm not going to add more foundation to the brush that I was using. Uh, I'm just going to take the remaining of that foundation that's already on that brush and just tap it across her hairline. But I'll give you more details when we get into that part. So after I parted the hair down the middle, as you can see, I'm just going in with my wax stick and a hot comb and just really pressing out the roots of the wig. And I'm just going to do that to both sides, add the wax stick, add the hot comb, and just try to get everything as flat and as um, neat as possible. But for the look today, I didn't want it to be too, too flat because I did want a little volume towards the top for the finishing look. But right here, this is the step that I was talking about. Just going in with that same foundation um, on the brush already. Don't add any more product because you don't want it to be cakey. Just use the remaining um, foundation on the brush and just tap it in. As you guys see, as I'm tapping it in, that lace is disappearing um, into her skin to the T. Okay, honey? This is the goal that you want to go for when you are doing transparent lace on any skin tone. You want to do that underneath foundation and then that on top foundation and just spread that hairline down and, you know, tie it down with that melt belt. And when I remove that thing, honey, y'all going to see, y'all going to see, trust me. So now that I went ahead and let that melt belt sit, we're gonna go ahead and remove it, baby. And when y'all tell y'all it's a scalp, it is a scalp, okay? Like that is what you call a slave. Like you have to, do y'all see that? I'm just gonna get up and, you see it, actually you don't, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like it is giving very much out the scalp tease and it's all about technique like i mentioned y'all see i paused it so y'all can see up close and personal and y'all already know me i'm a big no filter policy like i don't like filter on my work i don't filter my videos i don't filter pictures nothing like what you see is what you get because it's a lot of catfishing going on out here and i ain't trying to be the one so that's just the real gag but I am going to now cut this wig with a blunt cut. Um, I didn't even flat iron or anything yet. I'm just leaving it kind of like how it is, frizzy, um, straight. But I'm just going to cut this wig all around into a blunt cut first before I get, you know, before I do the curls. 
And baby, when I tell y'all, when y'all see the end results, when it's time for me to brush everything out and she turn around and y'all see the back, baby, this cut made a big difference in the outcome. Because you know, usually when you do roll sets and this is an 18 inch, you know, you just, you never really cut the ends. You just leave it, you know, regular. But I noticed that it really made a big difference. And I didn't even really have to cut no layers in this wig at all for the finishing result. I just raised it off literally a tiny piece at the top on each side to give it that layer effect. But right now, I'm just going to go in with my golden hot um, tool. And this is like, I forgot what inch it is, but, you know, it's a pretty big um, curler. And it was... You know it goes to 500 degrees so that's why i really really love it and i'm just going to curl everything um away from her face on both sides and as i'm curling i'm just going to go ahead and pin each curl as i go along um when i blow dry the wig i had already added some heat protecting in so i'm not going to add any more because i don't want the hair to be too silky or too wet looking i hate when hair is oily it just really irks my nerves y'all so please 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 when you are using protectants and oils, do not overdo it because it will be greasy, it will be oily, and it can be stiff. So I wanted to use less product as possible. So um, I'm just curling everything back and I'm just taking a nice little silver clip and just clipping everything back. And oh my God, when I tell y'all, I'm going to zoom in for y'all when I finish this little section, you know, curling it back so y'all can get the wing and the flow of things, you know, how I'm doing things right here. But when I zoom in, I'm just, whoo, it be too raw, y'all, like too raw. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in that I got that last curl on like that lace is like gone like for real for real like this sh sugar honey iced tea is tea okay like look at that they gotta stop playing with me for real for real y'all and I did her makeup as well of course like it is slay y'all I'm just really feeling good about slay timber what about y'all what about y'all because this is getting too damn good like i really love the full creativity that i get to do i choose the colors everything i'm doing i chose so i am really loving it so let me know what y'all think down below And for the back, I'm going to do the same thing as well. I'm going to curl everything. Uh, like, I just kind of bust it down the middle, and I'm just curling everything away, um, you know, away from the face. And that way, everything would just fall inward towards each other in the back, and everything would just be so freaking bomb. And I'm just going to curl all of that up, and, of course, still taking the pins and just pinning that all down.
So now that everything is all curled up, I'm just gonna spread a little oil shade and give the curls some shine. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of the clips. And once I get all of the uh, clips off the hair, I am going to, you know, brush the hair out. And I use my hands at first. Well, I pretty much use my hands to just form all the curls into place. And then I just, you know, went in with my comb and just um, my eyebrow razor, just raise it down a little piece at the top on both sides to give it a layered look. But y'all just got to stay tuned because when I get everything into place, it's definitely a slay like so far this video might be my favorite slate out of the ones we did so far but y'all let me know what y'all what y'all think down in the comments When I tell y'all I'm in love, OMG, like this color, these curls, everything is just giving me life. And I just, I'm just so blown away. Like I really did that. Like I really did that. Like the feedback on this look, this color is everything. Like it has been a little minute, honestly, since I did like a part down the middle roller set type of look and baby, I gotta do these more often, baby, because for real, for real, sus is slay, okay? Like, for real, for real. Like, for real. Like, it just looked too good, and I just love, like I mentioned, how full this 18-inch wig was, and you know, this was a straight wig on top of that, so y'all see how good um, this elbow wig's blonde hair whole curl and how well it takes color, like, no complaints. I have no complaints whatsoever with this wig like i absolutely loved it loved it loved it loved it and the only thing i'm gonna do more um other than defining the part with her foundation color i'm just gonna add a little holding spray towards the front and take my flat iron and kind of bump the top up just a little bit because y'all know usually i do super flat and neat installs but i did want a little volume um at the top in the front to really set this look off. So I am gonna go in with a little holding spray and my fly iron and just bump that little front part up some more to give it that nice little volumed and framed face look. And I'm just going back in with that Honey Beige foundation color again, just to define her part up and get it nice and noticeable, clean and neat. And that was some of this freaking tutorial. Like, I am so in love with this look, okay? Everything about this look is, oh my gosh, like, she looked too freaking good, like, too good the makeup the hair everything like i really did that i really did that and i'm so so in love with this but let me know what y'all think down in the comments stay tuned for the finishing videos and i will see you guys next time for slave number nine 
So if you haven't already, subscribe, tune in, check out the last, the latest videos, and just overall get into these slays. Thank you so good, you know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and see you next time.